welcome back to another video and another vlog in the heart of Spain, Frangirola. Today, the weather is a bit cloudy and it's, the temperature dropped a bit. I think it's 20 degrees at the minute. So, the plan is to get some breakfast, go to the indoor hotel pool, which is meant to be amazing and heated, sunbathe a bit, go outside, maybe swim there, sunbathe, and then just hit the town. So, let's get started. For a dip, I'm now at Grace and Maribel, it's a great time. The indoor pool is between 26 and 28 degrees, really warm. I'm just after coming back from Dana all that sunbathing and swimming, and it's, it was amazing. The water inside is really warm and super nice. The showers are warm as well. You can change the temperature by yourself. But the outer pool is pretty chilly right now because there is no direct sunlight. So we'll reserve that for another day. We're going to town now though. Do a bit of small shopping, kind of like souvenirs and stuff. And just see the whole area. But one thing to keep in mind is that's the first big day of Easter. It's Thursday. And the celebration is going to take place today with the processions and that, so a lot of the shops may be closed. We have decided to go to the main bus station, and we are here. This is Miramar Market. What we gotta do is go around here, go under the motorway right there, go to the main city street, and just follow it through by the Bio Park to the bus station right there. There's also a train station there, and this is where most of the main routes go from the commercial center Miramar or hotel to the bus station is about a 15 minute walk which is perfect you can also take a bus there or take the small train but I mean it, the weather is lovely and we're really into walking so we're doing that so one thing to keep in mind is that I'm going to see the Frangarola as I just said, the city, the main shops. But after that, we're going to Mias, which is a town around seven kilometers away. And we're taking a scenic bus ride. It's a public bus, um, 122. And that's going to be around 25 minutes long. So it's going to be perfect. And that town is kind of like historic as well. So it's really nice, authentic cobblestone streets. It'll be beautiful. Here's the amazing thing about Spain. You have so many public paths and walkways. Like this is the only public bridge, which is perfect. And cross the river, goes through the town. And you have so many different pathways over there and there. We're heading a bit to the right of that mountain around there. And it's the bus station, it's past the bio park. Guys, this town is amazing. You won't believe what I've just found. It's a roundabout. A roundabout for our bicycles, you know, some scooters, maybe skateboards. It's phenomenal. Here's the thing. If you're not into the Spanish foods like Carrefour and other shopping centers, you also have a dozen stores plus a little right around the corner. Here, and our hotel is there. So it's probably like a five minute walk. Amazing. Yet another fascinating thing about Spain is that, I, is that they have these bins right here. So you have like different, they're organized in different ways, kind of like you have the bin banks in Ireland. So you have glass, organic material, metal, scraps, general waste. Most streets in the city of Fuengirola are similar to this one. You have just shops on each side and most of them are small. But then in the middle of you have like a garage, a big supermarket or a church which is great, it kind of disperses in what you find and you really get everything on one street. Absolutely amazing. This main red building is the train station. There's no buses here, but the bus station is there. So when you come out, past the sign, it's around 200 to 300 meters to the right. Oh, we just found our bus, Mias, the M122, and we're going right in. 
The tickets were at one year and sixty five per person per way. That's six twenty to the town of Mia. It's really cheap. So that's like a return for three twenty per person. Amazing value. And we have made it to Mia, so it's a beautiful town. Practically all buildings are white with the roofs of them being brown and red. And the streets are super clean. The shops are nice as well, there's a lot of leather on this street though, so. In summary, that's the bazaar. We don't have too much stuff. It's mainly just jewelry, a bit of art, and some food. So she's having churros and honey peanuts. The honey peanuts smell amazing, by the way. All around me is this town square, and the trains and buses are there, but all around the sides are shops. Today is a Thursday, um, Easter Thursday, and there happens to be a bazaar. I'm not sure if this is a thing that happens every week, but I assume so. And um, Boris and Kurt trips are 25 minutes long cost 25 euro and you pay per carriage so let's say there's four people you just pay for the carriage if there's six people you just pay for the carriage it's pretty good but I've already been to a few of them and I know they're cool and all but you can walk everywhere here in really quick time so we're going to skip that today Okay, I know. Okay, I know. I'm only bringing to see this town, the city, but it's absolutely phenomenal. The views are insane. It's really warm, and we're very up high in the mountains, so you know, there's barely any mosquitoes and stuff like that. I'm gonna be real with you guys. If you're ever in Spain or anywhere on holidays, finding public toilets can be very hard and you often have to use bars and restaurants and you sometimes want to, to charge you, like buy a free beer or get a, use a toilet. But here, in Mias, we actually have these in the middle of the town. So, right there, he has a tourism information center. And behind me is the square with the horses, the bazaar, and the shops. But here is the main view and you have the toilets. Right there. Amazing, they're free, they're clean, and you have like hand lotion as well. And there's good views and then, um, you know, donkey. As I, as I showed you earlier in this video, you have these orange trees all around Spain. But the problem is that the um, oranges are super sour like I anticipated, and they're just awful. My dad just peeled one, and it looked great, it smelled great, but no, it's not, it's not good to eat. It's like a grapefruit, but without the nice taste. So that there is a really old church, it's used as a shrine and out right now and it's pretty nice. There's gold, flowers and crosses all over the place. It's absolutely beautiful that it's kept in such pristine order. A terrace information, not in person. Let's go impress the Max Beach. Even such as this come out and like you can get anything, you can get the map, newspaper, some random facts, it's amazing. We right now are right there, the Red Dolph. And we have a pretty wonderful view, but the town is still huge. Mainly it's just residential, but we're gonna go a bit left around here and just check out these amphitheaters and stuff like that. As you can see, the view here is pretty amazing, but... But anyway, check out my Instagram, at the vessel underscore productions. I have pictures from today of the donkeys, the horses, and all that up. Meet Jess is also a town that's phenomenal for anybody, even if you're on a wheelchair or with walking canes. Have a look at this. You have these really old cobblestone steps up to the main city of the town, but you can go to the really long and flat hill, or you can make use of this lift. Absolutely phenomenal. So you find me in Plaza de la Constitución, 
and this is like the second square of Miches. This is far from the Taurus Eye as it's into the city, but if you have like four or five hours in the city, you definitely have been here. It's absolutely wonderful. There's a lot of shops, leather as well, but you know, there's other stuff like cafes and things like that. You don't really find in other places. It's very nice and authentic. No, it isn't. In the second story of the whole Constitution Plaza, well, you basically have like a nice view. We well, have a nice walkway around different story of shops and then you have a nice panoramic view of the city. It's gonna be pretty cool. I've seen it from a distance and ooh, ooh, I'm excited. I'm at the bullring at the minute and yeah, different like concerts and gigs going on here as well because of the arena, which is pretty cool. But we're not interested in that, we're just going to the castle. I'm on top of the towers in the castle at the minute and it's a wild fortress that is dating back to the 14th to the 18th century. Very old, but nowadays it's not used as a castle anymore. It's more of a scenic viewpoint. We have really nice gardens to play around and like it's a place to chill in the town. Here's the park with a lot of benches and just stone seating in place. Very nice. The playground and the walls go all the way around there for maybe a kilometer or so. Right underneath me are the old remains of the wall. And there's the main town. Very nice. And there is the bull ring. It's still open every Sunday with the bull fights and stuff like that. But entry there just to see it costs money. My family keeps on spearing at me, so yeah, uh, don't be prepared on too much of them in the B roll. But I get some flowers and stuff like that, you know. You know, nature. Nature is cool. Here we have the auditorium. And the auditorium is basically an amphitheater. It's where they have like seats up the top and then stage the bomb. It's used for theater shows, performances, bands, etc. It's really cool. Kind of, kind of like a really old concert hall. Amazing stuff. I was surprised that this town had one, but like it's Spain, anything can happen. I'm going to talk a lot louder now, but basically, Michez, just like most Spanish towns, has a lot of parks. And one of these is by the auditorium and you have fans like these here, a lot of benches, like a lot of benches, bins, flowers and vegetation. It's absolutely wonderful just to stay here and relax. So reflecting back on where we've just been, the castle was here, there's a playground and we walked around most of these places and came out right beside the auditorium. We didn't do the full, full round because, well, it was getting repetitive and we got a lot of pictures already. Our term is pretty amazing and there's the bull ring. Right now we're just outside the bull ring and we're gonna go back to the city center that way. <laughs> Signature of this town is these um, honey covered peanuts and sunflower seeds. We're gonna get some sunflower seeds right now because they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, the sunflower seeds, they're really good and it's all like made right in front of you so that's great too supporting the local the local people okay this sounds amazing for shopping for like these high quality unique items like I got these earrings right here real silver it's um the tree of life amazing stuff it costs 12 euro for two phenomenal I got like some chakra gemstone bracelets I forget how much, but it wasn't like extremely expensive. And my guy knew my mum got a new leather bag. So, like, we're really happy because stuff is really nice quality here. And the prices aren't insane. So, yes. So, after spending like four hours in Mijas, or Mijas, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's a really unique experience. Like, okay, so you see these uh, big tour buses. 
they're constantly coming in with new tires, but everybody's respectful here. Like people are quiet, people are taking photos above the sites. There's not a lot of like intrusion. It's really unique and like so calm. There's not a lot of haggling and like bartering as well, so Hello. it's super good Hello. experience. And now we're just traveling around, just wondering 